Um, so we are going to keep this, this open until seven o'clock. I'm Deborah Carney. I'm the acting chair of the ZBA. I'm joined by the chair, Ro Roger Lipton. Um, but we're here to tell you that this, this hearing has been postponed. Oh. We had a clerical error and it has been postponed until May 22nd when we will convene again. May 22nd. So I'm okay. terribly sorry for the uh, for the inconvenience. We um, we do have Mr. Obear who will be ready um, on the 22nd, and we will all reconvene at that time. But we wanted to make sure that we were here to let people know. Okay, very good. Thank you. You're very welcome. Thank you for checking uh, in. Um, can I ask uh, who you are? Um, I'm a reporter with the Reminder. Yes, I know your name. Um, my. My name is Deborah Carney, D-E-B-R-A-C-A-R-N-E-Y. I am the acting chair of the Zoning Board of Appeals. I'm joined by Roger Lipton, who is the chair. Okay. And we had a clerical error in posting our agenda, and which we're mm -hmm. very, very sorry about. And so that's why we are rescheduling until the 22nd. Is it possible for me to talk to one of you two on the phone tomorrow? Um, may I? Uh, it's it certainly is. Is um, can I get a sense of uh, what this is about? Yes, basically about the project itself. Sure. Yeah. Okay. Um, wh uh, what's the number I should call and a preferred time? Okay. Um, the number for me, since I am the acting chair on this hearing, would be 413-665-3072. And uh, it can really be any time in the morning. However, I should say that we haven't, we technically haven't had the hearing yet. So all I can really give you is sort of background that what you will find on our, the town website. Uh-huh. Okay. Um, we're, we're always happy to answer questions after a hearing if you have questions about that, but there's nothing that I can say to you um, beyond the fact that we are hearing a hearing. So um, just be aware of that. Okay. Um, yeah, I could also be interested in, uh, or could you fill me in on the history of the building and efforts to find a tenant or... Actually, that is not not that is not something that I am privy to at all. Um, it is wow. as you as you probably know, it is um, an old schoolhouse. It has been recently designated as um, a historic. <clears throat> um, so that um, in terms of what the owner of the building has done in terms of finding tenants, that I that I do not know. And Roger, if you have more to say, please jump in. All I know is one of our board members who's not here attended elementary school there. Yes, that's true. Oh, no kidding. <laughs> that's true. Wow. <laughs> so, you know, in, in actuality, when I think about it, you may want to contact um, the applicant, Mr. Obear, um, because yep. he can certainly give you a history of his ownership of it and what he plans to do with it. Okay, and his information is in the uh, um, pages that were sent as PDFs? The application, yes. The application has his phone number, uh, has his contact information. All right. Okay. Well, I appreciate it. And uh, Deborah, uh, congratulations on your new uh, position as acting chair. Well, <laughs> <laughs> um, I appreciate that. Okay. It's it's quite temporary. Thank you. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. And actually, well, I, 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 I know you from, um, I'm also on Valley Neighbors, and we've been very appreciative of the work you've done um, on that organization as well. Oh, great. Yeah. Well, that's great to, to help out the folks who can't help themselves. That's that's top shelf work you, you, you and them, you know, that you're doing. Okay, thanks so much. Yep. Okay, um, I will give Mr. O'Bear a call and thank you, Deborah. And um, you're welcome. Uh, good to meet you, Roger. Same here. Okay, good night. Good night.
<clears throat> do you ever read the reminder? You get it? I do get it. We do read it. And um, I am grateful for it existing since so much local reporting is, is uh, difficult to come by. Yeah, I didn't think I would read it when it first came out, but but I do read it. And yeah, a lot of us, a lot of us do <clears throat> duplicate stuff that's in the Gazette, but um, but some of it doesn't. Yeah, you know what's what's um, and I just a reminder: we're still recording here for anyone. Uh, I, what I feel bad about it, and I feel this is a national problem that it's so important to have local coverage. And if we needed one example of the need of local coverage, two words, George Santos. If it hadn't been for that local paper, really digging into his background, no one would have known what the, his fraudulent behavior. Mm -hmm. And I mean, so I'm, I'm happy to see things like the reminder get going. I mean, the Gazette has, you know, of course, all newspapers faltered terribly with the rise of the internet and they lost their classified revenue. Um, I think, you know, as we wait, Roger, for more, if more people come in, which I have a feeling they may not, I think I will just 